This video is sponsored by Kaspersky. Hey guys, how's it going? I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. It's a comparison between the two most popular Android launchers. On one corner we have Nova Launcher, and on the other we have Launcher 2. Nova Launcher has been around for much longer. They were first established on XDA back in December of 2011, so that's why they have over 50 million downloads on the Play Store now. Launcher 2, on the other hand, has only been around for a year and a half, and as of right now, it has over a million installs. Now, when you consider why someone would want to download one of these launchers over the other, there are two main reasons that I can think of. The first reason is simple, it's popularity. People see that Nova Launcher has more ratings and number of downloads, so they choose to install it over the competition. The second reason is that one launcher offers something that the other one doesn't. With Nova Launcher, that something is a lot more freedom for customization. In other words, Nova Launcher has a lot more options for customization than Launcher 2 does. More on that later, on the other hand, with Launcher 2, people would want to download this over Nova because it's a lot simpler, a bit more refreshing, and since it resembles the Pixel Launcher found on any Google Pixel device, a lot of people find it to be a bit more modern. Launcher 2 also gets updated a lot more. Nova Launcher gets an update once or twice a month, while Launcher 2 on APK Mirror gets updated at least 3-5 to five times a month, but it's still incredible that Nova Launcher gets updated after 8 years of service. Now before I break down what exactly you get with each launcher, I wanted to give a shout out to Kaspersky for sponsoring this video. Kaspersky and a Swedish 3D accessory designer named Benjamin Way created a concept to protect people's biometric data, such as fingerprints. This concept is a ring that can be used to authenticate a user on a device that has biometric security, such as a smartphone or a smart home door lock. The ring has a biometric stone that is physically shaped and textured like a real finger, and it even contains conductive fibers that can activate any reader. It's basically a replacement for your fingerprint, and this is great because you won't need to worry about your biometric data ever getting stolen because, unlike a real finger, this artificial fingerprint can be changed and reset with a new artificial pattern. It's a really neat concept, and I really like how the ring looks. Personally, I'm not one to wear something flashy, so the silver and biometric stone design do an excellent job of making the ring look discreet yet fancy at the same time. This concept is just one of the possible solutions for protecting people's biometric data in an environment where there isn't a 100% guarantee that real biometric data will be stored by third parties responsibly. If you want to learn more about biometric authentication, the issues that it faces, the solutions it brings, and the current state of the technology, I'll drop a link in the description to read more. Anyways, back to the video, let's break down what exactly you get with each launcher. Both launchers have the basics, such as the option to customize the desktop and app drawer grid size, icon pack support, a dark theme, accent colors, the option to lock the desktop, integrations including the Google Discover panel and Sesame shortcuts, backup and restore, and more. However, each launcher has its own set of advantages. With Nova Launcher, those advantages are, as I said before, a ton more options for customization. For example, you can customize the search bar immensely, including replacing the one on the home screen with a KWGT widget, a ton more options for customizing the folders, Nova Launcher has a lot more gestures and actions for those gestures, but it is kind of funny that you can play YouTube Rewind 2018 any distorted way when you make a gesture within Launcher 2. Nova Launcher also pays attention to the details by allowing you to customize a lot of the smaller features. Things like the home screen page indicator and the color of it. You can choose a different scrolling transition and control the scrolling speed. You can change the look of the pop-up menu and there's even an option that allows you to quickly relaunch an app without needing to force stop it first. Another small but amazing tweak is that you can make the status bar icons become dark or make the entire notification bar black. And within the night mode menu, you can individually choose what should become dark and how dark the background should be. Those are most of the things that Nova Launcher can customize and Launcher 2 can't, but Nova does charge a hefty fee of $4.99 to unlock a lot of features, including the gestures, app drawer groups, the option to hide apps in the app drawer, custom icon swipe gestures, and more. Launcher 2 doesn't have a pro version or any in-app purchases, it's entirely free to download. And even though Launcher 2 isn't as customizable, it has a lot more unique features that make it stand out from the competition. For example, it allows for multiple icon packs to be applied at the same time. If the first icon pack can't theme every app in your app drawer, then you can stack another icon pack to try to theme those remaining icons. It also has more search engine options for the search bar. 
It organizes work apps better for when you enable the work profile mode on Android. It gives you the option to change the font and use any font you'd like if you have the file on your device. The custom tabs within the app drawer look a lot cleaner than the app drawer groups found on Nova Launcher. And since this launcher is trying to replicate the Pixel Launcher, it comes with an at-a-glance widget which is really customizable. In the end, both launchers are amazing and unique in their own way, which is why they're so popular. It's still hard for me to choose which is the better option here. Nova Launcher is a great choice for anyone who wants to completely revamp their home screen setup and have no limitations. Plus, it is a bit more mature in that the developers have reached a point in their app where they don't really need to update it that often because it has every feature that users would want in a stable launcher. Launcher 2, on the other hand, has a more straightforward interface and has very unique features that make it stand out from the competition. I'm personally going to stick with Launcher 2 only because I do enjoy the Pixel Launcher resemblance and I feel like it's a bit more exciting to use because they're more likely to release a cool new feature that we haven't seen before because they don't have as much to lose when compared to Nova Launcher. Either way, that's a quick comparison between Nova Launcher and Launcher 2. Both launchers are amazing. I'll link them down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a huge thumbs up. Get subscribed while you're at it with the notification bell turned on. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!